Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to do a wireless activation through Sarah Plus. First, we're going to put the primary phone number in the primary phone box, and then we're going to put the first and last name and valid email address. It's very important we have the valid email address because a customer will have to verify the order at the end of the sale for the order to release. Next, we're going to put the service address. Typically, when you start typing, it will auto populate the address as you can see here, and we're going to search for the customer. This customer has been in before, so their actual information will pop up, but most of the time you will just select new customer and hit next. From there, you're going to build a sales offer. You'll select my name and click on build sales offer, and it'll take you to the activation flow. This screen should look familiar with video, internet, and wireless. We're going to click on wireless and hit next. Then we're going to click on new customer and hit next. On this screen, we're going to select how many wireless lines a customer is wanting to set up and if it's going to be ported or not. You always want to have the customer port information if you're going to port numbers at the time of sale. It's going to make the process a lot easier. Um, the customer can call 611 or they can call their customer care number to get the account number and four to eight digit PIN number, typically numbers. From there, make sure the customer is aware that they are going to accept to a credit check and we'll set up a four digit AT&T PIN. Next, we'll put customer proprietary information in such as date of birth, social, and driver's license. You also need the driver's license expiration date to process the credit check. Once that's complete, we will hit next and continue on the activation flow. This customer was approved for five lines, no deposit. So typically there won't be any deposit, but the customer might have a down payment on the handset depending upon the handset they get. We'll select purchase new device, select manufacturer, and filter by smartphone, tablet, or wearable. If the device you're looking for is not on the list, you can uncheck the in stock box select what type of manufacturer it is and what type of smartphone watch or tablet you're looking for and it'll tell you in the workflow if the device is on back order or readily available as you can see here the samsung is in stock so it should typically ship one to three business days next screen it's going to ask us what type of rate plan we're going to select most of the time the customers are going to get the unlimited elite it's going to give them 50 gigs of wireless high-speed data. You can check different rate plans inside of the MST tool, which is a great link to reference to for customers. Next, we're going to select if they're going to do a regular installment or they're going to do the next up. The next up program is where the customer is allowed to upgrade every 12 months. If they do decide to take advantage of the next up, it is an additional $5 on top of the already financed charge. Next, we're going to select if we're going to port a number or not. Um, you'll select yes, put the phone number in reporting, and click verify. From there, we're going to put the customer's information in from their old provider. Their account number and their PIN number is mandatory. We have to have that information to complete the port. So from there, we're going to put in the account number. We're going to put in the four to six digit PIN from the old provider, and we're going to hit add port. Once you click add port, it'll ask you to verify the port and it'll turn green. So we know we did good if there's a green check mark. From there, we'll click next and it's going to go to a summary page. Um, as you can see in the middle, you can verify what phones we're ordering and what plan you put the customer on. And on the right side, it will show you what type of plan and proration charges are on the side right there. Um, the last screen is where the customer will pay for the taxes up front and any sort of down payment. It does have to be a credit card, a non-prepaid card, and has to be in the customer's name. You can also select if you want to put the customer on auto pay. This last screen is where you're going to put the customer's email address in again. Again, make sure it's valid. The customer will get an email from Sarah Plus um, to accept the terms and agreement before the order will release. And it has to be accepted within five to seven business days. Otherwise, the order will auto cancel themselves. The, finally, the last step is to select the shipping address. 
the phones do ship to the customer. You can change the shipping address, but please make sure you it's not out of state. It can flag the order for fraud. So that's why it's a best practice to have the customer ship it directly to them. From there, you can select process payment and you have completed successfully your first wireless order.